Hello everybody, um, my name is Mage, uh, or that's what I'm going to go by at least. So I started making this sculpture two whole weeks ago, it was the 14th I believe, like the day after the direct I think, and oh my gosh, <laughs> was this project a nightmare. Like, so I started, um, I started with the sculpting of the the skeleton, and then here I put on some butt. I put on his butt, um, and like at every step of the way, this project was just trying to fall apart. He fell over in the oven and burned like four times. Um, anyways, so right here I'm sculpting on his leg muscles and stuff. And I'm just uh, kind of bulking his body out with some muscle, giving a little bit more accurate anatomy. And um, yeah, just doing some stuff to make him look a little bit more natural, or as natural as I can sculpt at least. Oh, right here, he ripped his butt cheek off because it was too big. Sad. Uh, his his butt is gone now. And I'm adding some back muscle here, and I'm uh, going to smooth it out with this tool. So uh, how do you guys feel about the new Zelda? I think it looks cool, but I'm also like, there's not a whole lot of gameplay, which I mean I guess isn't really necessary because it is mostly just Breath of the Wild. Um, but there is going to be some new stuff, I would assume, because you don't have the Sheikah Slate anymore. You're in the sky, so that's cool. I wonder if there's going to be, like, a, a new flying mechanic, or if that bird thing is going to be just, like, something that, like, has a set path that it flies on, or if you're going to be able to actually fly on it, to control it. Anyways. Doing his shoulder, still bulking out his muscle. Alright, right here I'm drilling into the bottom of his head, which I made his head off camera because it wouldn't work. Um, oh, right here you can see his knee. If you look at his knee, his knee is burned. His face is burned. He fell over in the oven and burned both of those sections. So I'm adding his weird, like, sleeve that, um, almost looks quilted or something. And I'm adding his neck, uh, collar piece, which is the same material, or supposed to be the same material, as his sleeves. Um... And I did not film uh, putting on the upper sleeves and the chain mail because um, I'm not good at what I do. <laughs> I keep forgetting to film things or my hands will slide. I, like, I slowly start to creep off camera as I'm working because um, I feel like I need a better angle at what I'm doing and then I slowly slide off camera. Right here I'm applying his chainmail to his chest, so there's, you know, and I apply this strip, and this strip is entirely useless, you don't even see it um, in the end. Like this strip, the longer strip that I just added. Right here I'm adding um, part of his collar piece, the piece that like 
it goes down in a bit of a v-neck shape and then I'm gonna um, smooth it out and uh, I do end up removing that bottom piece of chainmail because you can't even see what's going on uh, yeah And then I'm adding the, the rest of the collar bit around the back. But again, it was a really bad angle and it was mostly off camera, so you don't get to see a whole lot of it. I'm trying to get better at filming, but it is just, I'm really bad at it. I'm gonna smooth out the collar here, and then I think I add a bit, yeah, I added a bit more clay and just kind of smoothed it all out to make it a little, a little more of a smooth transition between, you know, the collar and the rest of the shirt and here's that little cross piece um, to go between the the v-neck area and now right here I'm adding his face well no sorry right here my mom is adding the face because I had to run off and do something and she offered to help so she's adding the face um, I do need to get practice with faces his whole head shape is very off. I really needed to do that a little better, but I tried to do his face like, I think it was like eight times and it just did not work. And eventually when I finally got it right, I, uh, I think I rushed it a little bit. So there's some improvement I can do there. Uh, here, his ears are getting done. His ears are not easy to do. They're you know, elf ears, not normal ears. And I haven't even had practice with normal ears, neither has my mom. Right here, we're at, she's adding the hair because I was still off doing some errands. Also, they said tears. Uh, they said the title of the new Zelda was going to be spoilers. But for most uh, common people like me, uh, Tears of the Kingdom doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I don't understand how that's a spoiler, really. So yeah, um, Tears of the Kingdom. That's the title. Box art looks cool, which is what this is based off of. I'm doing his hands right here um, so it's pretty much just a block that you cut four lines in and then you kind of like roll your fingers around the um, the cuts the cut finger stubs to kind of give them a little bit more shape and then uh, what I did here was I cut out or I rolled a like triangular cone shaped piece of clay and I just smoothed that on to make the thumb I think they came out okay I'm not I, I'm not too disappointed with them um, smoothing them onto his hands though was a bit of a pain onto his wrists because that one there you can see is trying to poke through and the clay is trying to stab through so that wasn't fun and I'm adding uh, I rolled out a big um, uh, rectangular piece of clay here it's a, and then I rolled a bit of a pattern into it to give it like a chainmail-ish look and then he's got his, uh, his rest of his tunic which is just like a trapezoid I think it's a trapezoid uh, shape and then um, oh right here's a shoulder pad it's a circle with another circle cut out and I used a marker tip to do that and then I just smooth it on I stayed up till 3 a.m. to get this thing edited, and then um, I'm running on like four hours of sleep. It's 
right here I put stitches in like little leather stitches to because there's like leather stitching pattern in that shoulder pad but when I prime over it it covers up all the stitches and he has um, this little triangular piece that goes there to I think it's like a leather armor to go over his heart I think but um, yeah it was really hard to get reference photos of that because um, that armor is not in the uh, art book that I have. And all the images I could find online were very blurry. So right here I'm doing the sword. I lost all the footage for the sword sword. So right now I'm just adding the like gold details on the outside of the sheath. And up there in the top left you can see his shield. I hope that's your guys' top left. And he, um, I'm adding the little ring gold bits on his hand. They're not gold right now, but they will be soon. Um, or they're not really gold, they're more like a yellow, but yeah. Um, off camera again because I'm terrible at what I do um, but he has all these little golden rings and stuff but again all the all the reference images I could find online were very blurry and so I'm um, what I did for his gauntlets was I just added a clay I think gauntlets. I added a, a clay square and I rounded all the edges off and then I add this little triangular piece underneath to give it that like extra layer look and here's his foot I had to um, my mom had to help me again because I, I had to run off again um, but here's her doing his foot and the foot is uh, it's like a bunch of stacked up pieces of clay that she then smooths onto his um, onto his leg And then there's um, a stack of pieces of clay that she then rounded off. And now she's using a ball stylus to carve out the sole of the shoe. And then, um, I think this is me again. That looks like my big fat hands. Um, what I did there was I, I rolled out a piece of square clay. And then I um, rolled it over the edge of the boot to give it like a bit of a boot shape. And then I did another uh, rectangle of clay for the boot strap our boot flaps on top and in here I'm painting I painted his pants a little bit ago um, they're like a beige I'm not really good with colors so don't hold me to it but now I'm painting his chainmail and his boots got painted a uh, brown his tunic gets painted tunic colored my hands are covered in paint um, More painting of the tunic and this brown paint I hate this brown paint it is so thin and it takes forever to go on and then like in the end it didn't even didn't even look all that great and his hair getting his hair color uh, right was a bit of a challenge but it's just like a goldeny color and then I painted his face while trying to paint his hair and then I painted all of his skin off camera by accident uh, and then his sleeves here are black. You paint the sleeves black because that's what the color. That's as far as I could tell, they were like a black or blue in the the footage that I found of the game, or the footage that they posted of the game. And then here is him mostly finished painting. I paint on his eyebrows and his eyes. And let me tell you, faces are not easy to paint. And then his his eyes get like a nice blue. And then they get a pupil inside of that. And then uh, my hands drifted off camera when I was doing the like eyelashes, so that's what you get. And right here I'm doing a a, a, a brown wash on his hair to give it like kind of like get into all the recesses and do all the details on there. And right here I'm dry brushing off camera again. And the camera's all blurry because my camera work is fantastic. And here's his shield. 
it as far as I can tell it's like a, a brown I think it could have gone a little lighter with the brown there and then there's a dark brown and again it's thin and not very opaque wait is opaque the right word I don't know it doesn't stick very well and then you paint on some triangles that are pretty much the same color as the regular back of the shield and then some darker triangles and then there's this eye thing which looks a lot like the Sheikah eye but it has like a lot more teardrops coming off of it which who knows maybe that has something to do with the title uh, but yeah then you draw the eyeball which looks a lot like the Sheikah eyeball but different because there's a lot I think this one's more detailed than the Sheikah eyeball and there's a lot more teardrops coming off of it or are those supposed to be eyelashes? I don't know. And then the sword gets a nice blue on the, the scabbard. I think it's a scabbard sheath. Scabbard sheath, whatever. And then a, a yellowy gold, which it gets a little more gold later on. And right here, I'm making a base. And um, I ordered XPS foam. And they sent me styrofoam. <laughs> Anyway, so I covered the styrofoam in plaster, and now, um, right here my mom is carving out grooves, because I had to run off again. And I think eventually I take over and do the grooves, because I was able to, yeah, these are my hands. Um, I do the, I did some of the grooves, and I do some cracks to make it a little, like, worn looking. Yeah. And um, right here we're using some plaster to kind of um, add those like squiggly line dealies on the front of the platform he's standing on. I probably could have just painted them on, but we did the plaster, plaster wormy dealie looking routes. That's what we did. And right here I'm doing a brown wash over the whole thing to bring out a bit of the cracks and details to make them stand out a bit more. And um, yeah, washing is fun. Well, not washing, but like putting a wash on stuff is fun. Dry brushing is another story. Dry brushing is a pain in the butt. It's fun when it works, but if you have too much liquid in there, you're just painting. And if you have no liquid in there, well, like no paint in there, it, it doesn't go on. So you're, it's like a constant struggle, and right there I think I had too much in the brush, so I pretty much just painted the top of it. And right here, this part we're doing now, that is a little bit more like what I wanted. Like the bit, like uh, just picking up the edges, you know? There's, I'm adding some moss. I tried to use some grass. The grass did not work very well because you know it's supposed to be static grass and I do not have a static grass applicator. But I, I had a bit of um, this like bush foliage stuff. Anyways, now we're on to the glamour shots. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you did like the video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, share with your friends. Um, and please do um, subscribe and stuff and share because like it does help me out and maybe I could uh, go full time and turn this into a career. That would be really fun. Get into sculpt and stuff for a career and do art for a career. That would be great. Anyways, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, and uh, have a great day. But before I go, I need to tell you one thing. <laughs> he broke. His ear snaps off. His... Um, as I was um, moving him around, his shield and sword that I glued onto his back through a hole in his back, that snapped off. 
He fell off his base, tore all the paint off of his base. Not all of it, but a, a big chunk of his paint tore off his base. And it was a disaster. So not only did he burn and try to destroy himself during the actual crafting process, when he was finally done, he he just broke. He just died. He broke. And, and in a second here, you'll see his shield. Or not his shield, his ear. Right there. That's the crack in his ear, and uh, it falls off eventually. 